Welcome to the course that has been designed to help you understand and apply the concept of debits and credits in accounting. In this section, we will cover the course and teacher background, why it is important to understand debits and credits in accounting, where debits and credits fit into the accounting system, and then we'll give you a course outline. Trying to understand the debit and credit concept in accounting is near impossible when you are first introduced to it. See, most people don't find the maths of accounting as difficult as understanding the concepts of accounting. And for many, there is no more difficult a concept to understand than that of debits and credits. Debits and credits is basically a set of rules that you must follow when recording financial transactions in the accounting system. Now some people are very comfortable to simply learn the rules of accounting and then apply them. Others want to fully understand the accounting concepts so that they can apply them in a more meaningful way. If you are in the latter group, then this course is for you. Ultimately, learning the rules of debits and credits is something that everyone involved in accounting must learn. But if you don't also learn the reasons behind creating these rules, then there's very little educational value. So this course is primarily targeted at students who have a desire to learn how to both fully understand and then apply the concepts of debits and credits in accounting. I will assume in this course that you already have a limited understanding of accounting, but that you need to do this course so that you can progress in your work or your learning of accounting. Fully understanding the concepts of, and application of debits and credits will help you achieve these outcomes. So in this course, I will deliver training on the concepts of debits and credits from an accounting student's point of view. I have been involved with applying and teaching accounting concepts for many years, which started initially with my university studies. But for over 25 years, I have applied the concepts of accounting when keeping the books for my many businesses that I have operated. In the past five years or so, I have taught accounting to students in government technical colleges in Australia. Recently, I authored the book, Frequently Asked Questions, Basic Accounting Concepts, which is available from the link provided. Why is it important to understand debits and credits? Well, without an understanding of debits and credits, you won't be able to accurately record financial transactions in the double entry bookkeeping system. The double entry bookkeeping system is a key component of accounting and is used all over the world to report on the financial position and performance of businesses. The reports produced by the double entry bookkeeping system help stakeholders in a business like owners, managers and funders to make informed decisions about the resources and the direction of their businesses. So a lack of understanding in debits and credits could lead to inaccurate recording of financial transactions, which leads to inaccurate reporting on the financial status of a business, which then leads to poor decisions being made about the allocation of those financial resources and could ultimately lead to the loss of resources or much worse. Where does debits and credits fit into the accounting system? Well, debits and credits is a classification method used to record financial transactions in the double entry bookkeeping system. This classification method is applied when financial transactions take place and a source document is created. The debits and credits classification method allows the financial information contained in the source document to be recorded in the books of the business, starting with what is known in accounting as the journal. Initially, we will look into the history of debits and credits to give you some important background information. Then we will fully explore the other accounting concepts that underpin debits and credits in accounting. Armed with this knowledge, we will be able to look at how debits and credits are applied in accounting, which we will then follow with explanations of some worked examples. So let's get started.